In today's episode of Natural Geographic, we're going to be studying the Earth's crust. Just kidding, it's paint, because we're doing another hydro dip video. We have our curtain, we have our bucket, we have our other bucket, and we have our painting station, which everything is super colorful. All right, so right here we have the dirt scooter deck. This is a phase two, um, just like the normal deck, but it was like one of the first ones. They came out, they had a blue one back in the day, and this was like the black version of it. It was before they had the fenders. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna hydro dip this entire deck and the brake and the fork and the clamp. I'm gonna do the deck and the brake, and Clint's gonna do the fork and the clamp. And I'm gonna leave the grip tape on for this one because it's not actually grip tape, it's literally sandpaper, like adhesive sandpaper I bought from Home Depot. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on and let's get right into this. Let's get the hydro dipping. So basically my overall plan of painting this dirt skewer deck is I'm just gonna make it as crazy as I possibly can. I'm gonna put all the wrong colors together and it's just gonna look sick. Right now we have a pool full of hot water that I'm about to paint into right now. And yeah, I'm gonna start painting, throwing in some paint and then I'm gonna dip it. And hopefully it turns out sick, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start with just some random colors. I'm just gonna go hard. Bam. But I got the first little bit done and I'm gonna spray some more paint in and continue going. The deck, it looks super sick. Like I'm actually like really hyped on how it looks. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hang it up to dry for a little bit and then put some splatter paint on. So next I'm gonna do the brake real quick. Get this paint off my fingers. Hi, I'm Mateo. I painted your fork. Next out of the business, the brake. That looks super sick. So I'm about to make this fork and clamp look like my arm. It's gonna be shit. This is about to get crazy. I don't even know what colors we have. I'm literally just gonna grab whatever colors and just mix them together and Dude, that looks so tight. Dude, that All looks right, so good. Solid. I just don't know how to hold that. All right, so I'm not fully satisfied with how the deck looks right now, so I'm basically gonna start doing some crazy stuff to it. Maybe some like splatter paint and maybe some just painting in some certain areas. So let's get to it, let's get right into it, let's go. Um, I want to give a shout out to S1 Helmets for um, like voting us and helping us out. So I'm put some S1 logos like all over the grip tape because I think that looks super sick. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some splatter paint on it. Basically, my method in splatter painting is I just spray my paint into like a random can or a, like a cap that you don't really care about. And then you just flick it onto the deck. So just like this. So the whole reason that we made a crazy colored dirt scooter was because everyone just has a normal looking dirt scooter. No one has like a wild one. So why not make the wildest one, right? We'll see you in the morning, see how it turned out. 
Hello everyone, it's morning time. So we have the deck. I've actually kind of looked at it already. Uh, we have the deck, the brake, bam. Actually looks really sick. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I really like how it, it turned out. looks crazy. Like it, it looks exactly how I wanted it to turn out, so I'm so hyped. Wow. Yeah! That is one colorful scooter. Like, look at this thing. Like, it's not even tightened all the way, but it's gonna look so gnarly, like, once it's together. And the best part about it is the grip tape is still really grippy. And remember last night how I said it, like how the S1 looks? I actually think it looks tight up there. It looks like letters kind of like coming through. And then we got the S1 on the bottom. Oh, the scooter looks so good! I'm hyped! All right, so right now we just got to Ace Hardware and hopefully they have the nut that we're looking for on the dirt scooter. I unfortunately left it at home when I was painting it and we went to the scooter from before this. Oh, okay. You want a nut? Yeah, I want a oh, nut. Want a, okay. That's the right thread there. Let's go uh, over here to the uh, back of the back. Booter Farm. Booter Farm. Booter Farm. Farm. We're with Derek Marr, by the way. What's up, guys? It's He's been a while. Gotta, I gotta go over and get a metric, Alan. Thank you so much. Here, you can just keep the change. Scooter check time. Oh. So we were just riding skater cross on it right now. I think the tires need to be aired a little bit. Um, I tried airing them up at uh, Scooter Farm, but it was kind of a dilemma. We're running like a five-star dirt scooter tube in the front, so I don't really know like how much it's gonna actually air up. But on dirt, it should be pretty fun. It shouldn't, shouldn't really affect us. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a little quick scooter check real quick, because I know you guys are gonna ask what kind of parts are on this. So starting up top, I have some Envy bar ends, like their new ones, and I have some District grips. I don't even know if they make this color anymore, but these are from like a long, long time ago. This is my first sponsor package from District like three years ago. Then I have these rad T-bone bars. Um, the previous owner of Scooter Farm didn't like understand me when I like asked what size I wanted my bars. I wanted them 26 tall by 24 wide. And he said I'm 24 tall by 26 wide, so they made perfect dirt scooter bars. So that's what I'm running right now. Then I have a Tilt Arc LT clamp. It's like this, this thinner one. Um, it's Hydra Dipped, Tilt, Headset, and a little Scooter Farm sticker on here. Then we have a Phase 2 Fork, Phase 2 Dirt Scooter Deck, Phase 2 uh, 100 PSI Tires, Phase 2 Core, 5 Star Dirt Scooter Inner Tube in the front, which I would not recommend. Same wheel in the front except Phase 2 Inner Tube. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of painting and setting up and kind of riding the dirt scooter. Um, we're gonna we have some big plans for this thing, so stay tuned. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out.